I'm a biologist for South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. My number one passion in life had always been wildlife and the minute I realized that, oh, I could go to school for biology, that was all I wanted to do. While at the College of Charleston, it was really easy to talk to professors about their work in biology, uh, especially here at the Grice Marine Facility. Here are people going out into the world to conduct research. That's really where the rubber hits the pavement and learning. What is it like to actually have a job in science? Well, here with the SCDNR, I uh, work with the Marine Turtle Conservation Program. So anything that has to do with sea turtle conservation at a state level, we deal with outside of our office. Two winters ago, I worked with leatherback sea turtles on the coast of West Africa. And while on the island of Equatorial Guinea talking with people, I heard about the drill monkey and it really became clear that this was uh, an animal in, in real trouble. Every story I heard, everyone who actually saw the drill was just in awe by its presence. So I decided to, you know, to try to see one for myself. I pinpointed a few locations where I was really certain that I would see them, but it didn't really occur to me how really perceptive these animals were. You know, you can't just plot around in the forest and hope to see them and then just sit down and watch them. So then started the long waiting game of I would go out every morning and then just wait for them. It's hard to explain, but when you pursued something so intently for weeks, just hoping for that first time to sit down and see them on their own terms in the place where they've been raised for thousands of years. It all just culminated to, I mean, just pure adrenaline when I did first uh, see my drill. You know, I was sitting in a hide I made and I had my camera and I'm, I'm looking out towards like a, like an open river and then just out of nowhere it comes, it's, it's, it's weird, but a, a little furry person. It was like there's this secret culture of people out there that uh, had never been seen before. It was just amazing to see them, you know, in their own habitat. So a lot in this area, I mean, where I'm filming drills where I think it's almost impossible for any other human to get, a lot of times I find shotgun shells or traps. So, you know, there, there's always that constant threat of humans and poaching. And so eventually after filming them, it became clear to me that I, I just done what not that many people have ever done before. And that's, uh, you know, I'd seen drills in the wild. And on top of that, I actually, I filmed them. This was a really unique opportunity for others, mainly the people living on that island, to see this animal that myself and so many others are very, very concerned with. So then it wasn't really about whether I wanted to do it or not. It was kind of a responsibility I now had to get these images to the people who might affect their conservation. So that's why I decided to create the Drill Project, which is based on making a wildlife documentary focused on the drills so we can help the country of Equatorial Guinea make more informed decisions on the conservation of these animals. Mm -hmm.